And here it is, it does say all new. And this is all new 2024 Toyota Grand Highlander. Now Toyota just revealed this uh, vehicle here at the Chicago Auto Show a couple days ago. And this is so much different than the Highlander. So if you're thinking that you're getting a Highlander that's just a little bit bigger, well, you're in for a surprise because this is a completely new vehicle. So let's start with the front end over here. This looks more like a Toyota RAV4, but bigger than it does look like a Toyota RAV Highlander. It does have these LED lights, uh, really nice and really bright, I bet, with uh, the uh, daytime running lights right on top. And if you scroll down, you can see the fog lights. I do like this grip. Now, this is the Platinum Edition, so this is the top of the line model. And you can see the front view camera and see the Toyota logo right on in the uh, beginning here now as far as the engine configuration uh, there's going to be three but toyota didn't really release any specs i'm going to see if i can jump on this platform and uh, actually show you the interior of this vehicle but as you can see it is much larger than uh, the regular highlander it is about six inches longer increase the wheelbase but about four inches which is huge and it looks uh, different it doesn't have the styling like on the highlander you can see that uh, the back of it is much beefed up and again in the back it does look more like a RAV4 but a little bit tamed down it doesn't have these protruding lights like uh, you can see on the uh, uh, RAV4 but they're nice they're visible they're LED they have this uh, trim piece that connects the two of them the Grand Highlander is spelled out and it's one of the three different engine options this is the hybrid max platinum edition and of course you do have the regular dual exhaust now uh, up on top you have the third brake light you have the um, wiper that's not hidden that's still exposed let's see if i can uh, actually take a look at the uh, interior of it maybe even pop the hood open let's check this out and here it is what's underneath the hood of this highlander but we don't know the specs, unfortunately, but there's going to be three different uh, engine options that are available for the Highlander. The first one is going to be the 2.4 liter engine as you've seen on the 2023 Highlander, no V6. So the second one is going to be the 2.5 liter four cylinder hybrid with the uh, Atkinson cycle. Now we got to point this out because it does have the prop stick. I don't know if it's the production model vehicle or not, but the, this one is the one that uh, you're going to find, I believe, in the Lexus RX. 500h so this is gonna be a hybrid with the assist of up to three electric motors so you're gonna have two in the front and one in the back and uh, here it is here's the interior of it so first of all i'm going to point out it does have some nice materials on the side pretty cool trim over here two memory seat settings and getting inside this vehicle first of all you can see the grand highlander that's right over there power seats i do like how these seats are a combination of leather and suede the suede insert inside this looks really really good steering wheel feels good to the touch let me see if i can turn on something in here and see what happens so this is normally how you turn on the vehicle uh, but this one is not on 12.3 inch screen something's going on here uh, we've seen that on the highlander you do have the regular power knob and volume knob then underneath here you do have a lot of shortcuts this is for your climate control and um, you do have the view camera let's see if we can turn that on no but this is the new toyota system the infotainment system we've seen that the session has expired don't worry about it fully digital instrument cluster it does look like it has a head-up display as well and you know it's got the multi-tiered dashboard it does have a little bit of storage right here plus another usb charger uh, a lot of places you can put stuff in here in the middle i'm glad that they didn't use more of this piano black coloring on it and close the door for a second here it's making all this noise uh, but you do have the wireless charging the usb-c charger the shifter is a little bit different i kind of like it this is this more modern shifter and uh, you do have some different gears or drive modes now I, it, it is an accessory mode so i can't show you what it is but it looks like eco sport rock and dirt modern sand push for normal snow hill descent assist traction control turn that off look at this huge as far as the roominess in the back and then up on top 
you do have you know your LED lights you do have this huge panoramic sunroof take a look uh, let me jump in the back I'm gonna show you how much room we have so right here the back door basically similar to what we've seen in the front you do have this manual sunshade for your extended privacy and you do have the two captain chairs i'm not sure what other seating configurations are going to be available on this grand highlander but you do have the uh, rear climate control and it looks like it does have the heated and ventilated rear seats um, as well as all the other controls for it you also have your regular outlet the uh, household outlet very small bumper in the middle and the two USB-C type ports but what's more important because I was kind of disappointed sitting in the Sequoia is the roominess that you can have in the back seat so let me jump inside all right I'm here in the back seat right over here I'm gonna move the seat forward and actually lock it well Let's see if that person would have in that room. Nope. So let's move it. Now, there's a little lever right here. I believe this is to just fold down the seat and move it forward. Yeah, you can do that. I want to move it all the way. All right. So now we have the seat pretty close and I'm still not touching. So definitely that roominess is vastly improved over the regular Highlander. I'm gonna move this out, jump out and see what we have as far as the roominess in the very back. So this is being the highest trim level. I suspect it does have, of course it does, the power lift gate. And this is what we have in the back. So uh, right away you can see that there's tons of room. It does have the JBL speaker. It does have the household outlet and the seats fold down, both of them. We can actually drop it, see if uh, both of them are able to actually drop flat. Neither of them do because I have this middle seats that are uh, pushed back quite a bit. Uh, underneath here, you do have a little bit storage. Um, there is actually a cargo cover, it looks like. And does it have a spare tire underneath somewhere? Nope, no spare tire on this vehicle. So I guess uh, you're out of luck. Um, you're gonna have to deal with the fix a flat, which, you know, a lot of manufacturers are going in this direction. I'm not sure what the pricing is going to be on this new Highlander, um, but uh, you know, we expect it to be slightly more, of course, than the regular Highlanders. This is the Grand Highlander. Again, uh, let's uh, take a quick 360 and uh, check this out, back of it. I like the taillights side. And here you go, this is the front. And like they say, this is all new. Guys, I hope I'm gonna get this on my channel really quickly when it gets to the dealership and I get the full review, including the test drive to give you my first drive impressions of this vehicle. But so far, this is what we have. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in my next video.